Minnesota River was formed in a sudden and catastrophic way about 13,000 calendar years ago when a very large lake formed in front of the receding Laurentide ice sheet and the dam that was holding it in suddenly failed and a huge stream of water emptied out of the southern end of that glacial lake agassiz and just you know a wall of water was sent down through kind of the central lowland in minnesota that had been occupied by a glacial lobe of ice so it was a big um, discharge event we call the type of valley that floods create spillways so this is the spillway from glacial lake agassiz it's created by a, a river that no longer exists once the lake was drained the the modern stream the minnesota river occupied that big valley people used to think it was formed over the course of hundreds of thousands of years but now the features in the valley and um, the evidence for the ages of the shorelines this as the lake dropped suddenly the shorelines formed at a much lower elevation and the ages of the shorelines indicate that it was much faster than that some people say it happened over the course of a weekend, you know, jokingly, but in geologic time, very quickly. So it's a very small river filling this giant valley, and as a result, it can migrate back and forth through it, but it also um, allows slack water to deposit organics and sediment to be deposited during flood events, and the valley is gradually filling in over time.